Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Put those hands up right now, as high as they can be. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're praying, O oh Lord, that every hindrance you take out of the way, every disturbance take out of the way, every failure take out of the way, every frustration take out of the way. And today, Lord, I pray the fire, the zeal, the ability to achieve, you put into everyone in Jesus' name. I pray that all the young people here today and all the youth leaders here today, we will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Something is boiling within us already, stirring within us already. And we know we're getting out of this place and we're going out to achieve in Jesus' name. Confirm your blessing upon every life. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you very much. We can sit down. I have three words for you. Number one, I can. Number two, I will. Number three, I must. Number one, I can. We're looking at Philippians chapter 4. And it's in verse 13. It says, I can do how many things? All things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. If I can, then I will. If there is nothing stopping me, and that if there is nothing that is standing in my way that I cannot remove, if I can, then I will. And if I say I will, today is the day to start, I must. I said I must. When you get out of this place, you are going to do something. Because now power has come inside you. And we're going to turn your frustration to fascination. Frustration before today, after this day, fascination. Everybody say fascination. I've been studying the Bible of late. And I've been looking at some men. Because I, I used to wonder, are we the only generation of people that have problems? And then in the problems we have, have we been able to overcome those problems? And then turn our setbacks to step in stones and then get to the success and then get to the summit. One is the setback. Two is the stepping stone. And three is the success. And four final is the summit. And if you're coming from the setback and use that as your stepping stone, you are going to succeed. I said you are going to succeed. And I came across some interesting individuals number one joseph number two joshua number three jephthah number four jabez and then number five job number six jeremiah number seven jonah as I look at all these people, I put all their histories together. And I come from the man that had a dream. And then I come to the man that has a vision. I come to the man that has a goal. I come to the man that has a destination. And as I put all these together, I'm coming from Joseph to Jephthah to Joshua to Jabez and then to Job, Jeremiah, and Jonah. I said, by the way, problems are common to everybody. Because all these people have read about, they had stumbling blocks. And then they used their stumbling blocks as stepping stones. They didn't allow anything to hinder them. You will not allow anything to hinder you. From this day, you can do all things. From this day, you will do all things. From this day, you must do all things in Jesus' name. As I start from this young man, his name is Joseph. And 
What do you know? What do you think Joseph had? Tell me what Joseph had. Tell me. He had a dream. He had a dream. Wonderful to have a dream. A dream is something that God paints in your heart. And when God paints nothing in your heart, He says, I'm taking you somewhere. I want you to become somebody, something. And you're going to become that thing. But don't be surprised when people attack that dream and they fight that dream. And then it appears they reject that dream. I say this way I said, God revealed the dream men rejected the dream but he received the dream isn't that something that when God reveals it and men they reject it if you know you will and if you know you can and if you know you must you will receive it in Jesus name I put it another way and I say God brought the dream and men fought the dream but joseph got the dream i will get it i said i will get it god announced the dream and men attacked the dream but he achieved the dream i am an achiever i said i am an achiever I've been trying to wonder what's the difference between an achiever and a non-achiever. They both have one head, you know. They both have two eyes. And the achiever and the non-achiever, they both have two ears. And they both have one heart pumping blood into all the parts of the body. And this achiever and non-achiever, they both have two legs. Achiever and non-achiever, they both have two hands. I'm asking myself then, what is the difference between the achiever and the non-achiever? And I discovered something. I discovered something. The non-achievers, they think about what they don't have. And they don't make use of what they have. The non-achievers just say, I don't have this. Because of that, I cannot have that. The non-achievers say, no money, no motivation. Because there is no money, there is, there is no motivation. They cannot get themselves to stand up and get something done. That's the non-achiever. The non-achiever says, no admission, no advance. You know what? Did he give me admission again? I've not been able to secure admission. I've been trying, I don't know for how many years now, because there's no admission. Therefore, there is no advance, non-achiever. Not only that, the non-achiever, you know what he says? Everybody is avoiding me. Everybody is running away from me. No friends, no future, because there is no friend, and nobody will support me because of that. There is no future. I say that's a non-achiever. The non-achiever says, you know, I lost my parents. It happened like this, it happened like this. And the parents have gone since about 10 years. And the young man is still crying. I have no parents. And he says, no parents, no progress. But you know what? The same things that happened to Joseph, happened to Joshua. The same thing happened to Jephthah. The same thing happened to Job. And the same thing happened to Jeremiah. And the same thing happened to John the Baptist. It happens to everybody. But the achievers, they say, you know what? Yes, there is no man. I'm going to turn that to notable manifestation in my life. No man will support me, but don't worry about that. I'm going to go beyond no man. There's going to be notable manifestation. Manifestation is coming. I said manifestation is coming. And I've always seen this, that if you expect it, it will come. If you expect it, it will come. How many people expect it? It will come in Jesus' name. It, people have just those who have a chance to see me they have been kind of almost overloading me overwhelming me with testimonies every little chance they get to get my attention they say i saw you 
at such a time and you prayed for me like this and then i see a smile on their face and they say i want to report back to you that everything is now okay and i say praise the lord while that one is finishing another person that gets my attention says pastor do you know me i said i don't want to tell you i don't know you i'd like to know everybody what's your name he says okay let's push that aside you paid for me the other time you came look at what happened to me and then they give me a testimony i say praise the lord while i'm finishing with that another one comes and he says you know what I saw you just for a minute the last time you came and this is what happened and then I'm loaded with testimonies already then I say I come now and I'm going to load it on you yeah. all the load I've been getting all the testimonies I've been getting I transfer it to you right now receive it in Jesus name yeah. but you know the achievers you know what achievers do with their problems achievers they say yes there is no money but i have new motivation i'm going to do something with my life the achievers they say there is no admission but there's going to be a new alternative i'm going to find a way out of no way and you will find a way in jesus name and then there's no parents there's going to be new possibilities and then no friends there's going to be a noble noble future we're getting there I said we're getting there. And look at this, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 again. I, everybody say I. I, I can do. Say it aloud. All things through Christ, which strengthens me. Why don't people do that? Three points. Number one, past pattern of setbacks past patterns of setback people follow a particular pattern it was like this in my life it was like this last year and I'm, i don't think i'm expecting anything to change past patterns of setback number two practical programming for success don't you use computer it is what you put into the computer you'll be able to access you'll bring out and you need to have practical programming so that you can succeed you are going to succeed number three positive progress towards the summit we're going there together i said we're going there together what's number one past pattern of setbacks i'm not going to spend too much time with that i don't like to spend my time in the past if i could i'll just bury the past completely but just to go through with you so that you will know i know what you are going through i was there before i know the challenges you face i faced that challenge before as well i know those difficulties i had them before too but the point is we made a stepping stone of our stumbling block Number one, the past patterns. What used to come up and come up and come up over and over again? Number one, difficulties, difficulties. I'm sure you've met that before. When you meet that, it appears you say you cannot go on, but you will go on. You're going to forget those difficulties. Number two, disappointments. Have you seen that before? If somebody promised you, I'll pay your school fees. I'll get you the job. I'll connect you with the right person. And lo and behold, there is disappointment. Number three, there is disease. Disease. And that disease, that sickness, it makes you uneasy. It makes you unhappy. It makes you, it's like, what can I do? See my condition. Disease. But disease will not stop you. I said it will not stop you. Number four, discrimination. Discrimination. You, know, you, you come here and you say, who brought you in here? Why are you sitting there? What's your father's name? Which stage did you come from? And everywhere you go, it appears there's discrimination. That's part of the challenge we have. And if that is a past pattern you've been finding in your life, we're going to turn everything around in Jesus' name. Number five, delays, delays. You know, sometimes you are eager to get some, and you say, I want it now, I want it now. And the thing does not come. 
and if he doesn't come in one week in one month or a few months it appears then you remove your mind from each i remind you of joseph joseph's dream was not fulfilled the first year he got the dream or even the second year or the third year but he held unto it you will hold on to your dream and nobody will take that dream away from you in jesus name number six disapproval disapproval we don't approve of him you are the youngest in the family how is it you want to reign over us what kind of dream is this this man is proud this young boy this young girl is proud that's what they think it is not pride it is dream thank god i had a dream and thank god that dream is being fulfilled already and the rest of it will still be fulfilled in jesus name and like father, like children, you are my children, the dream of your life, the vision of your life, the goal of your life, the destiny of your life, it will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Number seven, number seven. Before I tell you number seven, I read about a conference that Satan had with all the demons. And all the demons, they said, Satan, what do you suppose what to take all the instruments we're using? Suppose we take it away from the earth. What? one single instrument can you re can you retain with them and the devil said you know if i was going to take all the instruments and all the weapons that i use against humanity if i want to take everything away and to just leave only one i will leave discouragement with them because when they are discouraged they cannot think when they're discouraged, they close their eyes. When they're discouraged, they cry. When they're discouraged, they turn back. When they're discouraged, they will destroy themselves and they will throw away their dream into the ocean. And therefore, I'm going to leave discouragement with them. Have you ever been discouraged in your life? That's the tool of the devil. I am not discouraged anymore. I said, I'm not discouraged anymore. If Joseph made it, I'm going to make it. I said, if Joshua made it, I'm going to make it. And if Jabez made it, I will make it. If Jephthah was able to get through, I'm telling you, I am going to go through. And see Jeremiah, who said, I'm just a little child. And if Jeremiah got through, I will get through in Jesus' name. And think about Job. What has happened to you that you are crying? Wipe away your tears. Look at Job. See what happened to him. And then from the depth of despondency, he came back again. You will come back again. And so we throw discouragement. We throw everything away. And it is gone from us in Jesus' name. Past pattern of setbacks. Number two. Number two. Practical programming for success practical programming for success i told you about the computer yeah, and it's uh, we say garbage in garbage out that means whatever you put in is what will come out what do you tell yourself what what's your silent voice telling you what's the inner voice telling you what do you tell yourself every time are you telling yourself i'm not a genius I will and I will. And I said, I must and I must. If that is what you feed, it yourself. God is on my side. And because God is on my side, I'm going to be an achiever. What comes in is what will come out. It will succeed. I'm, I'm asking the question now, what can I say I have that gives me confidence? What can I say I possess that gives me confidence? Number one, I have God, the maker of heaven and earth. Think about that. That's enough. That's enough. That I have God and he created me and then he redeemed me. He saved me. He brought me to the kingdom. He brought me to his family and I can see every morning my father who is in heaven and because he is my father is going to make me succeed. He will make you succeed. Number two, I have a goal. I have a goal. I have God you will get there in jesus name number one we have who number two we have watch number three we have watch a guide number four we have gifts we have gifts there is nobody living on earth that god has created and is totally devoid of gifts you have your gift i have my gift and it is the gift you have that will make the way for you you have talent 
you have ability you have a brain you have a potential and because of the gifts you have when you bring everything together you have god you have a goal you have a guide and then you have gifts wonderful wonderful you cannot fail i said you cannot fail and then you need to listen to the next one properly before you before you think you understand number five number five you have grace you have grace you have grace and i know what you are thinking about you're thinking about by grace are you say through faith that not of yourself it is a gift of god that, that's true that's true but you know the way i understand grace when it comes to achieving and achieving because when you have a goal you have a guide and you have something motivating you within you want to reach the place you want to go there are enemies that will rise up like Tobiah and Sambalat and he'll say you will not make it stand straight square your shoulders don't look down as if you're timid as if you're afraid of Sambalat and Tobiah and tell them eyeball to eyeball it is not what you say it is what he has said you don't have the final say in my life upstairs at the headquarters where is your headquarters I said where is your headquarters what do we call that place? Heaven. At the headquarters, the final word has been spoken. And that final word says, I am a success. That final word says, I will get, I will go there. I will get there. And because he has the final word, Satan doesn't have the final word in my life. How about you? I said how about you. And the enemies don't have a final word in your life. The word has come from the headquarters before you were born. I knew you. I ordained you to be this and that. It's going to be fulfilled in Jesus' name. What is grace? What is grace? G-R-A-C-E. Can I interpret that for you? Tell me. God's resources against cruel enemies God's resources against cruel enemies they will all be defeated in this your lifetime all your enemies will fall on the ground you will walk over them and get your goal he sets a table before me in the presence of my enemies he anoints my head and my cup runs over surely there's no shadow of doubt in my heart surely goodness and mercy will do what they're looking for me they're looking for me goodness and mercy goodness and mercy shall follow me how long one month one year only when I'm a teenager, all the days of my life, and guess where I'm going to spend eternity? And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. You got it. Forever and ever. Grace, God's resources against cruel enemies. Number six, number six, godliness. Thank God we've got it through Christ. I said we've got you through Christ. Now, number seven. Number seven, I don't know whether you are familiar with this word. We call it grit. That is G R I T. Grit. That means you hold on to that thing and you will not let go. You are like Jacob. You say, I will not let you go except you bless me. And you are going to get it in Jesus' name. We call it tenacity. We call it determination. And you just say, Here I am this is my privilege this is my inheritance this is what god has given me and nobody will take it away from me in jesus name why don't you put all that into your practical programming and say god is on my side and then i'll be good i have a place i'm going and i'll be a guide i'm not and he's not going to mislead me i'm going to get to that place that god wants me to get to and then i have not only that i have the gifts i have the talents i have what it takes to be able to make it and i have the grace of god and i'm going to see gods and great resources against cruel enemies godliness as well as greed number three 
number three now positive progress towards the summit positive progress towards the summit you know as you are moving on and god has given you a dream you'll take a step at a time a step at a time a step at a time before you know what you are there already say i am there already say i am there already the lord will give everything it takes provide everything you need and we'll get there in jesus name how do we eventually get there i'm coming back to joseph now he had a dream and joseph i have a dream to you i have a dream to you i have a dream to anybody having a dream there Anybody have been vision there? Anybody have been a goal, a destination, some, something you want to get in life? You have? I said you have? That's what you call a dream. Number one, receive the dream. Don't just, don't just walk about aimlessly in life. Get something before you go from here today and say, yes, I've got a dream. I'm going to be a doctor. I've got a dream. I'm going to be a preacher. I've got a dream. I'm going to be a missionary. I've got a dream. I'm going to be this or that. You will be in Jesus' name. Receive the dream. Number two, record the dream. Record the dream. Record the dream. Write it down. Write it down and read it over and over and remind yourself every day this is where i am going so that you will not forget you know joseph never forgot his dream they persecuted him he said i know what you are after you want to take my dream away from me i'll not lose it they sold him to slavery he said i know what you are after my dream i'm not going to let go of my dream don't let go of that dream number one receive it number two record it record the dream number three reveal the dream reveal it read it over again analyze it what does it take what do I have to do to be able to get to the place I need to get to? What books do I read? What course do I take? What mentor do I have? What institution do I go? You're asking yourself questions. You're so saying, if I'm going to achieve this dream, I've received it. I've recorded it now. I am, I am reviewing it. Number four, resist the dream destroyers resist the dream destroyers there are people that will come to you and will say you're making too much of this dream you're making too much of this goal you're making too much of this aspiration ambition say hold on keep your words to yourself and resist those dream destroyers and then number which number now i said which number how many of you, uh, I know the answer, I'm just asking you, don't mind <laughs> this old man, why are you asking me that? Well, I'm going to ask you anyway, how many of you use telephone? I told you, I told you such a question, I know the answer, but how many of you use telephone? I'm still going to look for an answer, put up your hand. Okay, when the battery goes down, what do you do? Again? Uh -huh. number five now i catch you it says you recharge the dreamer sometimes the dreamer that's you discouragement comes your battery is down no joy no laughter no excitement no motivation your battery is down and i say hey stop don't use that telephone because the battery is down plug that thing to that socket and do what and recharge that thing recharge the dreamer go back to the word of god and read some promises again and recharge yourself this message i'm giving you the messages were today go back and listen to them and recharge the dreamer and any song that inspires you any testimony that inspires you any mentor that inspires you any church service that inspires you go in there again and plug yourself into that socket there it will not take one hour you'll be recharged I said you'll be recharged. And then you come out again, and then you pick up that phone. Pa, 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 pa. And then all the numbers are there. Hello, who is over there? He's a dreamer. I said he's a dreamer. You are recharged again, and you're on your way to success in Jesus' name. Number six, release resources for the dream. Release resources. Don't be stingy 
with the resources that will fulfill your dream if the time if you need time give it the time because fulfilling a dream will take time if it takes effort energy reading getting that form signing that paper and preparing for that exam do it and release all the resources that will fulfill your dream and now number seven is to rejoice and reign with destiny rejoice and reign with destiny you've been hearing all these things and you are recharged already and you are ready to go i said you are ready to go and I can see you, nothing now can stop you. Nothing now can stop you. You are climbing the mountain. Always remember, if you ever get tired on the side of the road, just come back for one or two hours, recharge that scene, and then move on again. You will succeed in Jesus' name. You know, I wish I could come to each of you and just hold your hand and say, now get up, it is time. And then I'm going to pull you to that mountain top. But even though I cannot come to that place physically, spiritually, I'm holding your hand. I'll be praying for you the place I go. You'll be on my mind. You'll be on my heart. And remember all the youths that have gathered here. To, I said, Lord, I prophesied into their lives. Fulfill that prophecy. Fulfill that declaration. And let the power of God move them. And then you will get up. You're getting up already. Why don't you rise up? Why don't you rise up and say, Lord, I've got it. Lord, I've got it. Lord, I've got it. Don't allow anything to destroy that dream. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. And say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I've got it. I'm empowered. I'm energized. And I know nothing will stop me. I can. I will. I must. I'll meet you at the top. I'll meet you at the top. I'll meet you at the top. You cannot fall. You cannot fail. Remember, everything you have had today, anytime discouragement comes, anytime those dream destroyers come to your life, resist them. You have the grace of God, you have the grace of God, God's resources against cruel enemies. You will overcome. You will overcome. You will overcome. In Jesus' name we pray. I need a dreamer's amen. Praise the Lord. I want you to imagine Joseph now. Imagine that Joseph was in the pit. What kind of amen will come out? Imagine Joseph was in Potiphar's house. What kind of amen will come out? Imagine Joseph was in the prison. What kind of amen will come? Imagine Joseph is now out of the pit, out of Potiphar's house. And imagine that Joseph is out of the prison. Joseph is now before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh handed over the ring of authority unto him. That kind of amen now that will come out of Joseph at that time when he took over. Praise the Lord. 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 Say this after me. I am not in the pit anymore. I'm not in the dungeon anymore. I'm not in the prison anymore. I have come to the palace. I've come to the time of realizing the fulfillment of the dream say this it is starting now it is starting now it is starting now and everybody said raise up those hands of victory those hands of achievement and we're getting to the summit right now father in the name of jesus I thank you for everyone here today. We have had days, and Lord, we're turning our frustrations into fascination in Jesus' name. All our setbacks were turning to stepping stones. And from the stepping stone, we're getting to success in Jesus' name. Upload, upload, upload up to the summit, up to the peak, up to the highest point. I pronounce on you boys and girls, men and women, you will be the head, you will not be the tail. You'll be the leader, you'll not be the follower. You'll be the provider, you'll not be the poor. The abundance of heaven will flow into your life. 
the resources of heaven will flow into your life. Whatever it takes to fulfill the dream the Almighty God has given you, you have everything in Jesus' name. I command you, go out and succeed. Go out and succeed. Go out and lead the crowd out there. Go out and be on the summit in the sunshine. Go out and have everything the Lord has given you. Lord, I seal it. I confirm it that your people, young and old, nothing will bring them down. And I pray, Lord, like you fulfill the dream for Joseph, like you fulfill the vision for Joshua, like you did it for Jabez, like you did it for Je Jephthah, like you did it for Jeremiah, like you brought a double portion for Job all over again, and like you made use of all, the, all those people of old, everyone here, their nothing is upon you. The power is upon your life. You will run, you will not be weary. You will walk, you will not faint. You will not fail again. Failure is of the past from today. Success, prosperity, victory, conquering, up to the summit level. And it is so in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you and God bless you.